Today I'm going to show you how you can make a loom out of a toilet paper roll, some popsicle sticks, tape, glue, and yarn. So it's really easy to do. First thing you want to do is you want to get toilet paper roll and some popsicle sticks. My popsicle sticks happen to come in different colors, so I'm just using one color of each, or one of each color. You can use more than four. I'm only using four on this loom because to show you it's really easy. Um, I started a loom with six, um, and you can see what it looks like, and I will show you how to finish that off when we're done. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your toilet paper roll, you want to get your popsicle sticks, and you want to open your glue. So the first thing you want to do is you want to glue a line, a straight line, doesn't have to go all the way down, across your toilet paper roll. Take one of your popsicle sticks and glue it down. You want to make sure that your popsicle stick comes off of or is above or on the outside of the toilet paper roll because that's what you're going to actually use to loom. And don't worry if you use a little bit too much glue. We're going to put some duct tape around the entire thing. Um, I'm going to push my stick down a little more because I want to make sure that there's not so much that my yarn has to go over. And that'll be clearer to you in a minute once the loom is finished. So since we're going to do four, we're going to, I'm just going to eyeball two and three and four where I want my things to be and then I'm going to take more glue take my popsicle stick put it down on there press and then I'm going to do that two more times When I'm done, I'm going to set it aside to dry a second, and then I'm going to grab my tape. So what you want to use the tape for is to reinforce the um, popsicle sticks so that they don't move around. So I just grab a length of tape, and I use my scissors to cut it off. And now I'm ready to wrap my tape around. I'm going to start at the bottom. And wrap the tape around. Nice. And tight. I'm gonna do the same thing on the top. Get a nice length of tape. Cut it off. And tape it around the top. And now I am ready to use my loom. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my yarn 
and I'm going to make a little loop knot. Okay, and I'm going to take that loop knot and I'm going to put it on one of my popsicle sticks and then going around just right to the next one to the right I'm try to always move to the right I'm going to put a loop around the next popsicle stick and then continuing on to the right I'm going to put a loop around the next popsicle stick and I continue going until I'm back at my first popsicle stick now my first, I know it's my first popsicle stick because it will have a loop already on it. That's the first one I created with a little knot. So now instead of looping around that popsicle stick, I'm just going to go, I'm going to pull my yarn across the popsicle stick and then hold it with my finger at the back to give it some tension. Tension, sorry. Now I'm going to take the, and I always put my yarn above the loop that's already there. So now I take the loop that was already there and I pull it off of the popsicle stick, leaving the line that I already had just pulled still there. Now I'm ready to move to my second popsicle stick. Again, I pull the string tight through with my fingers. I take the loop that's already there, I pull it over, and leaving the loop that remains. I go to my next popsicle stick, and I do the same thing. Push it down, go to my next, and I do the same thing. And sometimes it can take a minute for you to get the process of what your fingers are doing. Um, but once you do, then you will find that it goes much faster. You can do this once you get the hang of it. You can do it while you're doing another activity like watching TV something really easy so as you begin to weave what you're weaving goes down the center of your loom and will eventually come out the other side so what we're weaving here would be a bracelet and more yarn, make a couple more things so you can see how easy it is. If you're working with somebody who's super young and they want to do this and you feel like this part, the pulling the um, loop over another might be difficult for them, you can glue buttons here and the, if you glue a small button here, then it'll block the, um, this loop from coming off by accident. And it'll be a good safety measure for younger people. And you see, you can begin to see the weave that's being made. This is the one that I made with six sticks, three and three. Um, this is what it looks like when it's coming out through the other side. I'm now going to show you how to finish it off. So this is, say, a bracelet. And when you're ready and your bracelet is long enough, you take the end of your string and you take your first loop off and you put your string through that loop. Okay? Then going around, you take your next loop off and you take your yarn and you go through it. This part may take a, a few times because going through a loop with yarn and then the yarn begins to stretch, but it's not super difficult. 
So I pulled it through there, and then I continue my, oops, my next loop. Bring my yarn through. I'm not sure why my yarn is separating, but there you have it. I keep going. Pull off the next loop. Bring my yarn through. The next loop. Okay, pull my yarn through. And then I'm done. So by the end, all my loops are all on the same string and they make a little connector where all the, all the loops are all in one place. So I can make a knot right there. And then I can take my initial string and my last string and tie them off. And they're making a cuff bracelet. I'm just gonna double knot that. Cut off the excess yarn. And there you have a bracelet. Super cute, super easy. You can use four, you can use six. And again, just pull it across, pull the loop over and down, pull it across, pull the loop over and down. You can do this with multicolors. You can do this with um, embroidery floss, with just a really thin thread. You can do it with a um, with thicker yarn. Whatever you like, whatever you have on hand. You can do this even with string. This is kind of the same principle for macrame, which is are those bracelets you see the fishermen wear with the white rope string. Good luck.